going on everybody it is a uh, leader dog review of uh day eight and I believe day nine um today is august the 13th I haven't done a video here in a couple days um it's still going well um yesterday we had a little hiccup in our in our uh, training, uh, they changed my harness because uh, we're walking with the dog. I'm having a lot of leg pain. Uh, I think of what it is is my body's trying to get used to having a creature or something really close to my body when I'm walking. So my uh, my calves are burning a little bit. So we try to do an extender out where the, the dog would be uh, further removed from me and giving me more room. But again, it still didn't work. Um, so, uh, we'll, I just have to make a minor adjustment when I get back home. Um, when I'm walking her, maybe slowing her down a little bit more, which I'll be able to do. I'm not really worried about it. But, uh, yesterday with the change of the harness, we may have done more harm than good because yesterday when we were crossing the street, I had a lot of sun in my eyes and I couldn't see anything. And we were crossing the street and suddenly we were veering to the right uh, with the dog. I um, was a little shocked with that. I don't know if I led her that way or she did or we both screwed up. I don't know. Uh, the trainer doesn't seem to be too upset about it. Um, but uh, we f today we didn't have that problem. When I It may have been the harness. Both of us have tried, tried out a new harness. And th there was a big difference in the harnesses. So I went back to the normal harness today, and uh, everything was good. Uh, today we did what they call a uh, vehicle check, where they would drive a Prius in front of us, a very silent car. As a matter of fact, there's no engine. And they would uh, pull in front of us and see the reaction of the dog and my reaction. And um, it went well. I just got to learn, as a sighted person, I mean, has some sight left, to trust the dog and um um uh, sorry i just bent over to pick up some socks uh to uh, trust the dog and to see what the dog is doing and and tell the dog that she is in control of this situation because if i am in control of the situation you say well why should i do anything because you're in control so i just gotta learn to give it up which is kind of hard in a way, a total blind person here has it. I have a disadvantage, and that's crazy sounding it is, but they had to put total trust into that harness where I still have some sight, usable sight, and that's so it's kind of throwing a monkey wrench and everything. But uh, we came back from this afternoon. We went to Target, I said Target. And we walked through the whole store, and it was amazing. I was um, just blown away by the freedom of going in the store, and she was making me miss the poles that are some are in the middle of the aisles. And uh, they told us we told well, they told me that I could walk through the whole store by ourselves. So that's what we did, and. Uh, we were zipping through aisles, and I showed how to use uh, her while I'm with somebody with sight. So I have to, when I get home and I go grocery shopping, when I'm following somebody, and I have to instruct them what we need to be able to follow them or, you know, shop at a grocery store. So it was great. It was a great experience. Had a blast in Target. I really, really did. All the children that were there in Michigan at this time of the year, school starts, I think, next Monday, so kids are still out. They were, they were loaded up in Target, and the little kids were uh, great. Uh, parents knew not to touch the dogs. Some of the kids could read the sign. I had a, a sign on there, please do not pet. I am working. And everybody knew that we had leader dogs. Everybody in this community loves leader dog. And I even come up to an, an older lady who was in a, 
a scooter, electric scooter, and, and she goes, oh, that must be a leader dog. And I said, yes, ma'am, thank you, and have a great day. And um, so they're, they're, this town is proud of the, the organization here, and I believe a, a, a town that has a thing like this, it gives the town a soul and a purpose. There's, f I think they said two, three or four hundred, between three to four hundred volunteers from this town that helps Leader Dog. That's amazing. Without the without the uh, the volunteers, this place cannot exist. And this town comes in and helps take care of all the dogs and uh, comes in and help us with uh, uh, with uh, with bingo night or movie night or whatever. If somebody needs a ride to the doctor, there's somebody always here to volunteer. So it's great. It's great that they do that. And then when we got back from Target today, we did um, two nights I'm going to be doing walking in the dark with the dog. So they, I mean, my instructor decided to, hey, why don't we do a blindfold Juno walk, which the trainer would be acting as a dog. And so we blindfolded me and off on the course we did, and it was it it helps me to understand what I'm going to go through in 48 hours. Um, I am my eyes are that is that harness and dog, so I was able to concentrate on what I was feeling, this, without using my vision. So it was eye awakening, to, no pun intended. But it was a great feeling. We success, uh, successfully successfully did that. And so uh, I know it's not going to be exactly like that, but I get a somewhat of a idea of what it's going to be like Thursday night. Uh, when we go Thursday night, the instructor will be attached to my dog like she was the first day I had her and walking through the streets. And then we'll probably work on it just a little bit more. Eventually they'll let us go. Uh, at night by ourselves, both them, you know, not attached to the dog. Uh, next week we'll be going to Detroit, Michigan. Um, we've got to go to a mall yet. Uh, we're going to do uh, urban walking. That's like going through a neighborhood with no sidewalks or an old country road to see how to navigate the dog on a car with uh, a car, a, a road with no sidewalks. So it'll be interesting. Um, having a good time tonight. We had uh, uh, a, a quiz with prizes and stuff, and um, testing everybody's memory and stuff. But having a good time. Tomorrow will be day ten, and that will be the halfway point. I've gone through this process, and um, we are doing well. And um, I was told today that. Uh, my uh, trainer has so much confidence in us that if I had a phone call today and was told that I needed to come home for a family emergency, uh, Glacier would be going home with me today. So that was a great feeling and great indication that we are becoming what we need to be and uh, gives me the confidence that everything's going to be good. Everything's going to be all right if we just keep this, keep the course. There still will be down days. There are going to be some pitfalls, but we're, as a team, we are getting through them and learning from them. And I will continue her training when I get back home. So Glacier says hello to everybody. Don't you, Glacier? She's passed out. She's had a tough day. But uh, having a good time here, and uh, we will talk to you all later. You all have a great day or evening whenever you're watching this video.